And then a hero comes along With the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive And when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong Then you finally see the truth That a hero lies in you Hey guys, a warm welcome to Wisdom from North. Today I would like to address how to become whole, how we can find that hero inside and love ourselves with actually looking at what we do not want to identify with. Let's dive into that one. So mankind has been fighting for thousands of years against an external enemy, right? There's always an enemy. But we're not only fighting against an external enemy, or has been for thousands of years, we're also fighting with ourselves every day. Like they told me in India when I was at this ashram, man has conflict inside. Or I would say, we have conflict inside. So why do we have this conflict inside of us? Well, I always look to nature, and when I look at nature, I see polarities, right? We have hot and cold, we have, uh, we have night and day, we have darkness and we have light, we have up and down, left and right, man and woman, ugly, beautiful, good and bad. You can think of probably many, many more. And that's the way this universe works, right? In these polarities, north and south. So this influences us and makes us think in this binary way, this binary thinking, where it's either this or it's that. And with you and me, we're also separated. So we have this illusion here, which is pretty uh, convincing <laughs> in this life that we are separated. While in truth, I believe that we're all one, but it really appears like you are over there and I'm over here. So when it comes to defining ourselves, what I have noticed, and this is only my perspective, but it is that we often define ourselves from what we are not. Like, oh, you know, I'm not like that woman, or I'm not like that person, or I could never do that job, or that is just not me. And we also define ourselves from the past, like everything we've done or the baggage we have, that's like who we are, this compilation of everything we've done, all the experiences, that's who we are. But what about defining ourselves from what we want to become? For me, that is a totally new perspective. And back to how we love ourselves, by changing the way we're thinking, we change a lot. And I'm going to tell you how I found a greater self-love? Well, I find it very interesting because I'm going to this course where we learn so much, so much beautiful teachings every week. And my teacher talks about matches. And I don't know if you've heard about that, but it really propels my personal development. It really gives juice to my everyday practice. So when I recognize that I have resistance towards something in, in the external world and I have a lot of energy towards it, that signals that I actually have something that's called a match. So let's say that there is a woman that, um, that is talking to me in a way I don't like. And I can be really annoyed, like, oh, I don't like that woman. She talks, you know, so down to me and I'm just so annoyed. When I have that much energy, energy about a situation or a woman, it means that I have a match with her. It means that there's something within me that I'm matching with her. So a match, you know, it's the, it's the same. So there's something I need to look at. What do I need to learn from that person? She's here to teach me something. And then I can look inside instead of putting all my energy on her and feeling like a victim. And isn't that empowering? So those are matches. And we can also see that in another perspective of this binary thinking. 
that when we have a lot of resistance towards something, like I'm not that, that is in fact something you need to look at. Because if we think that everything is one and everything we have inside is reflected on the outside, then what is reflected back to you is something you need to look at. If you didn't see it, if there was a person who was really nice that you didn't have a match on, that person wouldn't trigger you as much. It wouldn't be a huge issue in your life. It is those issues that are appearing, those troubles and those dramas, that is where the matches are. And that is what you probably have a lot of resistance towards, which you need to look at in order to become whole. And a lot of people speak about becoming whole, right? So how do we become whole? Well, I believe it's in fact embracing everything we think we're not. Like, I'm not like that person. He's a bad person. Well, have you heard of the biblical uh, expression, I am that I am? That is a beautiful, beautiful and deep practice that I can truly recommend. Walking around a whole day perhaps, or a week, and try as often as you can to look at everything you have resistance towards and say, I am that I am. I am that poor man, I am. I am that woman who is fighting over there, I am. I am that woman in love, I am. I am that successful woman, I am. I am that lame person, I am. I am that job, I am. I am that garbage, I am. And I know this can be challenging because we don't want to identify with what we don't like. But everything is also a part of us. And what we see is a reflection of what we have inside of us. So there's always a reflection in you that you can learn something from and that you can love. And that is the whole point. Loving and accepting what is. And it can be difficult in the start to love sides of ourselves that we don't like. But the first step there is just to observe it. So you first observe the things you have resistance towards. And you say, I am that, I am. And you see, wow, you know, I have a reflection. There can be a match there. Wow, that was a match. I'm learning something from that person. I'm truly angry at that person, but it's a match. So I'm taking the match. I'm acknowledging that I have something inside me that she's triggering, you know, and I accept it. I just let it be here. And when you feel the anger, like, I just want to hit that person. You don't, you know, follow through with the action. You just notice what is there. Wow, I feel like hitting that woman. Wow, I am this, I am. Noticing what is going on, observing this anger, not judging it, letting it be. So what happens when you start embracing, when you start noticing the matches you see uh, that you have with people, when you notice what you have resistance towards, oh, you know, I, she makes so much money and she, she says she's spiritual. Well, maybe you need to look into how you can make money, how you can find the businesswoman inside. Why do we, you have so much energy towards that? It's because there's something to look at inside. So my tips for you to sum it up, to be able to love yourself more, to become more whole, to come back to yourself, to find truly that hero inside, is to not define yourself by the past. Define yourself from what you want to become. Whenever you have a lot of energy towards someone, you're angry, you're upset, you're irritated, Remember that this is a match, that you have something here that you can look at within yourself. Something to love, something to observe, and something to accept. And then also walk around a day or two or make it a daily practice and do it every day if you manage. Everything you have resistance towards say, I am that, I am. All right, guys, remember to shine the light that you are much light from here.